Jacqueline, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Early morning for us. Well, not that early, <laughs> 9 o'clock. <laughs> Debatable, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we're here in a Trieste near, uh, I mean, it's the far east part of Italy, very close to Slovenia, right? And uh, we're uh, driving a convertible and we're going to open up the roof, even though we don't have too much sun today. Kind of sad day for convertibles, right? <laughs> Sad day for convertibles. They claim that this is a four season convertible, which is true. I don't know if it's rainy one of the seasons in Miami, it is. <laughs> in other parts of the world. And uh, so we drove yesterday. Oh, we get some information there from the GPS. So we drove yesterday the regular version. What did you think about it? Like the 300, um, which is a four cylinder engine but what do you think about it? It was cool. Smooth ride. But then again the roads were really smooth here too. I know it's surprisingly. pretty surprisingly. Yeah even when we cross yeah when we cross the border from when we cross the border from Italy to Slovenia it was uh, surprising how the roads were so good. So I'm operating here the air cap thing which is one of the main features of this car and can you see in the back it has the wind deflector so we're in the open car I mean we're not going that fast not even <laughs> not we're like 27 or like 10 15 miles an hour I mean it's comfortable and again like it's rainy so we're gonna have to close it pretty soon but uh, pretty nice car and this is the top version of a uh, family the c63 we have 503 horsepower that's a lot of power for a small convertible so you've driven a lot of a lot of convertibles this year already right yeah we have two others right i think that well the dawn in south africa and rolls royce dawn in south africa and the smart for two the smart for two in valencia. in valencia so i mean it's this is squarely in the middle. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, this is a re obviously a luxury car coming from Mercedes, and everything is like so, so cool in this car. I mean, the technology, the design, and everything. The work that they've done with the uh, aerodynamics is pretty amazing. And uh, one of the key features that you're missing in this car is the air scarf. Air right? scarf. <laughs> and you enjoyed that really a lot yesterday, right? It was so useful. Because the weather wasn't great yesterday, but it was still cozy inside. And in this one, sadly... Sadly, <laughs> we discovered we don't have it. And that's because we have, the obviously, the racing seats from AMG here, and there's no space to put, like, the fans that that heat up your neck when you're driving. So, <laughs> so no neck warmers. Exactly. Our necks will be cold. So we're gonna close the roof and you can do this up to 50 kilometers or 31 miles an hour and uh, you're gonna see the other aspect of this car which is pretty cool this uh, soft top has three layers of material that really converts the car into something else i mean you can hardly tell that it's a convertible right no it's super quiet now and again we're in the AMG and we're not driving today in the race mode because that will eliminate all the electronics for safety that eliminates the stability control and all that so we're gonna go in comfort today with this rain on the roads and uh, see how it goes so what's the, the, the best thing that you like about the car I mean both the regular 300 and, and this one and you haven't driven it but yeah I haven't driven this one yet um, of course, I loved the, all of the climate controls yesterday because I got cold really easily, so I love that. <laughs> yeah, it went, so. like, it went like 80 degrees and you said, like, put some heat on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I like the, the heat. It just drove really smoothly and it doesn't feel very bulky for a four-seater at all. Yeah. It drives like a two-seater or handles like a two-seater. There's a lot of space back here. Exactly, and back there you come in. Most convertibles don't have really a lot of space in the back because, especially the hardtop convertibles, because that takes a lot of space in the. Where are we turning here? We're trying to follow directions, so here we go. Yeah, the hardtop.
types of convertibles like let's say like the BMW M4 series now that has a hard top really doesn't have much space there because the metal parts like take a lot of space both from the trunk and from the seats but this one being a soft top it really adds up a lot of space back here yeah you can put a lot of people in here you yeah. can, uh, comfortably at least three friends yeah and comfortably but this one has like a cup holders in the middle I don't know which friend are you gonna put there <laughs> <laughs> yeah who's just on the cup holders I don't know. yeah exactly <laughs> so again we're gonna enjoy the car today just with the top on and uh, hopefully maybe we get some sun and we cross to Slovenia again today maybe there'll be sun <laughs> over there I will see sun in Slovenia so, Jacqueline, you're like um, having uh, something new from your, your uh, lunch, your newsletter? Yeah, my newsletter, yes. It comes out the first of every month. The Life Automotive, it's called. And how come people can subscribe to it? Just like, that's what it is. Like, Google it and they'll find it or what? What's the yes. easiest way to... Well, they can email me or tweet at me. Okay. It's at J A C L Y N. Right here. T R O P. Excellent. We'll go. And uh, it's great. I've already seen it. So, congratulations on that. And uh, we'll see what will be our fourth convertible later this year. I know. Time will tell. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you.